you know, I think we all take we all take things for granted. And I did when I was a kid. And I'm gonna focus my grandma's telephone. <laughs> oh, I used to play around on that thing. And this is from uh, as long as I can remember, from 1970 to 1979, uh, because of my grandma's health, health, her doctor recommended her to uh, move to Florida. So she sold her house in Mainville, right up the road here, about seven miles. She sold her house in 1979, but from 1970 to 1979, uh, I love my grandma's telephone. <laughs> you know, I used to, back in those days, there was no touch tone. There's all rotary. And she had a, a desk, well, not a desk, but, boy, you, I guess you could call it a desk. It, it was a sided desk. Her phone sat there next to the front window. She had a chair. I used to sit there, put my finger in the rotary, and spin it around. <laughs> you know, it was the 1970s. There was no caller ID. <laughs> and we didn't know what caller ID was. And uh, she had a phone book. And one day I thought, I'm going to call a number. I, I dialed a number. Whoever it was on the other end picked up. So I hung up real quick. <laughs> and about... Two minutes later, the phone rang. <laughs> you know, I was about that ornery age, about 11, 10 or 11 years old. <laughs> you know, this is the this is the, in the early 1970s, and I ran to the bedroom because I knew I was in trouble. Heard my grandma <laughs> pick up the phone. It was ringing. She picked it up. Whoever was on the other end, you know, she no, I didn't call you. She said, I, 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 get, I bet it's Greg. You know, she always called me Greggy. She said, I bet it's Greggy. Uh, she said, my, my, grand, my grandson. And uh, I bet he's been playing with the phone. So after, <laughs> after she hung up with her friend, she, she tells mom, they're just laughing about it. But my mom told me, you know, Greg, quit playing with the phone. <laughs> My mom was always sweet. My grandma was sweet. Never had a temper. My my mom and my grandma was the sweetest sweetest people on earth. And when I got in trouble, it was it was uh, joyful to them. It was joyful. But uh, I, yeah, I used to sit there and just play with the phone. And when it ring, pick up the hello. Grandma, you got a phone call. <laughs> Once in a great while, it would be for my mom. But 98, 99% for my grandma. Grandma, you got a phone call. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, you know, I love playing with the phone. I don't know. Well, you know, you got to remember, it was the 1970s. We had no technology to keep us busy. You know, my grandma had no radio, only four channels on TV. You know, life at times, keywords, at times, at times could be boring. Especially on a Sunday. Every great now and again, my cousins next door, my first cousins, they take off somewhere and be gone all day, so. You know, Sundays could be a rough time growing up in the, in, when I was a kid in the 70s. You just had a, there was nobody to play with. <laughs> we just sat around the house bored. Go outside. My grandma used to, my grandma used to tell me, go outside and play. <laughs> there was nobody to play with. <laughs> so I, I'd run the cat down. Pester, pester the cat or climb the tree but my grandma's telephone oh I love playing I don't know just stick my finger in the rotary just 
dialing them. You know, just act like I was dialing. Just act like I was dialing a phone number. But you know, I miss those days. I really, really miss those days. You know, I was nine, ten, eleven, twelve years old. You know, and when I become a teenager, I did play around with it. Like, you know, I I got out of that. It was just because I was a kid. I just loved sticking my fingers in that rotary dial and spinning it around. In those days, there was no touch tone. But that's what I really miss. I'm, you know, you take it for granted. What I wouldn't do to go back to those days. From 1970 to 1979, I love. I would love to relive that part of it. Relive it.